Some of you really like the action button menu I had in my iPhone 16 Pro day in the life vlog, so I'll show you how to set it up in this video. And of course, everything is free. So step one, you wanna go into the Shortcuts app. It should be on your iPhone by default, but if not, you can download it from the App Store for free. So I have my Shortcuts app right in here. So once you're in, you wanna make sure you're on the Shortcuts page right here, right? And if you're in the All Shortcuts page, as you can see here, just tap to go back to the main Shortcuts page. And what we're gonna do is essentially make a folder of shortcuts that you can show by clicking the action button. So in the top right corner, tap new folder and you can name it and customize it however you want. So I'm just gonna call this action, add. So once you're done making the folder, go into the folder and you can add whatever shortcut you want here. And now this is completely up to you what kind of shortcuts you wanna run within this folder now, right? You can add whatever kind of shortcuts you think would be most convenient for you. So what's on my current action menu? Well, we have silent mode because there's no silent switch on these newer iPhones and then bike, which opens my rideshare app, ChatGPT, make a new note, make a new reminder, start a voice memo, open my Apple wallet, or close. So I'll first show you how to do the silent mode thing. So we're gonna search for silent mode, set silent mode. Now we wanna set this to toggle silent mode. So let's say you have silent mode turned on. If you run this shortcut, it'll turn silent mode off. If you turn silent mode off and you run this shortcut, it'll turn silent mode back on. So we'll have it set to toggle silent mode and then we're gonna go we're gonna rename this to just silent or whatever you wanna call it. Oh, I guess I can't do that. Silent mode. And we can also change the icon. So I like to keep all my icons the same color, so I'll just do gray. And then for silent mode, we'll just do a bell. And then we have our first shortcut in our action menu. So if you wanna test this out, we can go back home, go into our settings, and scroll down to action button. And then here you'll have an interface to select all the different actions your action button can do. So we're gonna go to shortcut, choose a shortcut. So we're gonna tap choose a shortcut here and then show folder. And here you can see all the different shortcut folders. So action button is the one I already made, but the one we're making right now is called action. So we'll select that one and then we'll test it out by pressing and holding the action button. And then as you can see, we have the silent mode option that we just created right there. Now getting rid of this menu is a bit wonky because you know, tapping doesn't really do anything. You have to like kind of swipe it away. So we're gonna add an X button to the shortcut menu. And this is gonna basically be a shortcut that doesn't do anything. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna search for an X. And we're gonna name this X. And this shortcut doesn't do anything. So now if we run it, we now have the X button. So if we tap that, it'll just get rid of the action menu. And if you wanna change the order that the items show in the menu, you can just kind of drag these around. So now I have the X after the silent mode. So that might look cleaner for some of you. And now it's pretty much, you can do whatever you want. You can add whatever shortcuts you want. For convenience's sake, I'm not gonna add a bunch of shortcuts cause you probably don't wanna see me do that. But yeah, that's pretty much how you add a shortcut for the action menu. We can do it again, just so we're clear. So let's say we want to do a new note, right? We'll do a new note. Change the icon to a pencil. And we're gonna search for the notes app. So we're gonna do create note. Have to unlock this with face ID because I lock my notes. Create note with contents and folder. And now if we run it, it'll show me the shortcut. And it might show the actual app icon instead of the icon we made. So let's just choose the icon for that and we'll choose the icon we created. There we go. Now they all look uniform. And if we try it again, press the action button. It shows all of the new shortcuts options we made. And yeah, pretty much from here on, you can add whatever kind of actions you want, add whatever shortcuts you want by pressing plus and then looking through all the different shortcuts you can launch. But yeah, that's pretty much how you set up your action menu. All right, that's pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed it, then consider liking and subscribing. It'll really help the channel grow. You can buy the accessories that I have on my iPhone 16 Pro in the description and in the comments below. There'll be Amazon affiliate links. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. Be awesome and stay techie. Bye. And we can, and we can search for the folder we just made. Wait. Huh? Where are my folders? Bro.